Some GM trucks equipped with a Duramax engine, such as 2006, require the IQA, or injection quantity adjustment rate, to be programmed when replacing the injector. So, you can see here, we've got our, our uh, reman injector, and it's got a tag attached to it with some numbers here. So now, let's take a look at the scan tool. I'm in the engine special functions menu and I can see injector flow rate programming. So I'm going to select that. Now I can display the ECM and the glow plug control module injector flow rates. That's where that information is stored in both of those modules. Or I can reprogram them. Or let's say I replaced uh, the ECM. I can copy those numbers from the glow plug control module to the ECM, paste them in there, or vice versa. I can copy them out of the ECM and program them into the glow plug control module. For today's purpose though, of replacing the injector, I'm going to reprogram. So once I've made my selection there, now I can go down and we're working on injector number three today. So I can select injector number three. Then I will select change value. And now we see we've got a drop down menu. I can choose a different value that I've had here or by tapping on the number, now I can move my cursor and simply backspace, eliminate the digits, and now type in my new numbers. So I've got 508, then I've got 1, E as in Edward, 0, 3, and then it's closed out with a bunch of zeros. So sometimes I've seen these tags not come with enough digits on them, but all the technician has to do is simply install more zeros at the end of it here, and we're good. So now I can hit enter, hit okay, and my new number shows up right there. I'm gonna hit reprogram. Give it a few seconds to think about it. Programming successful. Okay, and make sure that my value is actually there. So now the value stored in the glow plug control module and in the ECM matches the number off the tag that came with the injector here. So what that's gonna do is help this truck idle clean and smooth once we install our new injector. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to program the IQA or the flow rate of this injector using an Autel scan tool.